I have a demonstration to show you on rigid body dynamics. As you can see, we have a schematic here of a cylinder with an inner drum and a cord is wrapped around the inner drum. The uh, cylinder is placed on a horizontal surface and we pull on the cord to the right. Now we'll assume there's enough friction at this interface between the cylinder and the surface so that there's no slipping, no sliding, and that we have pure rolling. Now, if we pull on this cord to the right, I often ask my class in the first day of the course, which way do you think the cylinder will roll? Having done this several times, I can say that roughly, let's say close to three quarters of the class will say, that the cylinder will roll to the left. And the other quarter of the class either isn't sure or they'll say that the cylinder will roll to the right. Well, let's see what actually happens with a simple uh, demonstration. Okay, so here I have uh, a dumbbell, as you can see, and it has a cord wrapped around it. And what I'll do is I'll put this dumbbell on a horizontal surface, as you'll see, and I'll pull on the cord from the bottom, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now as you can see, this dumbbell is on a horizontal surface. The cord wrapped around it is coming out from the bottom, and as we said, I'm going to pull on it to the right, and sure enough, it rolls to the right rather than to the left. Okay, now let's explore this uh, phenomenon a little bit more. Instead of pulling the cord out horizontally, let's pull on it vertically. Now when I ask the class which way it will roll, almost everyone says it will roll to the left. Well, again, let's see what happens with our uh, dumbbell demonstration. Okay, now, now let's take that same setup that we had and we'll pull the cord upward rather than to the right. And sure enough, as most people thought, the uh, barbell will roll to the left. <clears throat> okay, so that brings up the question, what happens if, for example, when we pull upward, we know the barbell will roll to the left. We pull horizontally, it will roll to the right. It seems as though there should be some intermediate angle where the leftward rolling and the rightward rolling changes. That is to say, if we uh, apply uh, the force at an angle close to vertical, it'll still go to the left. Whereas if we apply a force close to horizontal, it will move to the right. And uh, let's see, if we apply a force at this angle roughly, and I am uh, pulling on it fairly hard, but it's really not moving very much at all. And that's because the line of action of that force is right through this point. And this point, as you'll learn later in the course, is the instant center of zero velocity. And uh, it's as if the barbell is rolling, not about its center, but about this point, which at this instant of time, even though it might be rolling, at the instant of time, this point which is touching the, the surface has zero velocity. Now, generally speaking, when you sum moments about a particular point, you need to either sum moments about the center of mass or about a fixed axis of rotation. And uh, this instant center is really not either of those. But as we'll learn later in the course, uh, it is permissible to sum moments about the instant center provided provided that the acceleration of the instant center is directed towards the center of mass, 
which it is in this case.